Hello, and welcome to my course on Classroom Blogs. So, what exactly is a blog? Well, we've all probably seen, read, or even contributed to a blog at some point in our lives. We may not have stopped to ask exactly what it is, how we can use it in our classrooms, and better yet, why we should even be using these blogs in our classrooms. So, here's the skinny on blogs. A blog is a website you create that enables not only you to post comments, pictures, assignments, resources, but others to do the same thing. It's that simple. Most blog sites are free, but some do exist that offer added features for a price. The difference between a blog and a plain old website is that it invites collaboration and dialogue exchange. That's just a fancy way of saying you don't need to know HTML or any other programming language in order to write or contribute to a blog. If you can type, you can blog. Also, anyone visiting your blog can contribute to your blog. A blog is not the best place to post sensitive information like your grades, personal data, that type of thing. Remember, a blog can be accessed by pretty much anyone else in the world, so be careful what you put on there. Encourage students not to post personal information or questions about the grades they received in class. There are ways to limit who can and cannot see your blog, but I would advise against that. The point of a blog is to engage students, parents, and others outside of the classroom, and once you start putting restrictions on your blog, it just becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, touching less and less people. Some of the most successful classroom blogs are open for the world to see and even contribute to. Things a classroom blog can do. It can serve as a form of student expression. Blogs are a great place to let students write, to let students have an outlet for expression. Blogs can reach marginalized students. Students who are a bit afraid to speak up in class, maybe ask a question or contribute to a discussion, may feel much more comfortable writing in a blog. It can serve as a classroom resource. You can add videos, pictures, added resources, additional information that you weren't able to cover in class. It can aid in the teacher-student relationship. That's a tricky one. You can create an area where students can ask you informal questions and you can create a bond between students and really form a much better teacher-student relationship. And lastly, it can aid in the development of self-directed study skills. That's a valuable skill these days. Students can come to your blog and explore on their own and find information on their own through your guidance through your blog. So, things a classroom blog cannot do it can't replace you. A classroom blog, or really any technology for that matter, can't and will never replace what an actual human-to-human -human experience generates. A blog will only enhance and continue that human experience that you started in your classroom, outside of your classroom. During this unit, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you examples of some great and some not so great classroom blogs. I'm going to give you some step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your very first blog. And lastly, I'll talk about why you should create and maintain this blog in the first place. You see, without you and you taking ownership of your blog, it will fail. This is your blog. Nobody else is going to do it for you. You will only get out of this blog what you put into it. If you create your blog and never touch it again, you are doing yourself and your students such a disservice. Blogs are dynamic, engaging, wonderful teaching aids if utilized correctly. If after this course you create the best looking blog out there but you never update it, you never post to it, you never comment on it, or you never really take ownership of your blog, You've just got a great looking sports car sitting in the driveway and you're never touching it. Take it out and drive it. Some of the best and most effective teacher blogs out there, they don't look fancy, but man, do they ever work. So, own your blog. 
drive your blog, change your classroom. When you're ready to learn more about classroom blogs, click on that lesson number one link over there on the left hand side of your screen and we'll get started. Thank you.